<laughs> All right, and welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. I hope everyone had a great holiday, uh, and it's time to face the new year. And with that, we're going to do some tutorials that are going to be just awesome to show you kind of how to do some various things that um, are always common in Maya or common to most graphics applications. And so let's take a look at what I have today. Um, we're going to be looking at the MIA Material X, the Mental Ray MIA Material X. And that's kind of what you see going on right here. Um, I have a basic torus that has an MIA material to it and also just a simple plane that has an MIA material. So let me show you kind of what's going on here. I'm going to move this uh, render out of the way and I'm not going to be going back to this very often because I'll show you kind of what the the breakdown is right now I have a, a ring right here and I basically have it um, rotating so if I play the animation that's essentially what I have um, uh, this is a directional light right here and then I have a couple other cameras set up and I think I have a little point light right here too and I don't know if it's doing much good there but uh, it's there all the less so anyway you can kind of see how the motion is going and this is going to cause some reflections and some shadows and some various other things and when I do a final image sequence render it's going to give me something that looks like this okay so that's cool in and of itself and you'll notice that there's a black background back here and that's because I'm using these MIA materials out of context so to speak because these MIA materials um, are basically a, a physical sun and sky type material and we're gonna skip over uh, real quick to the physical sun and sky because you might ask yourself well what are what are these materials well if you look in your hypershade right here you'll notice that you have a choice of materials and these MIA materials right here are what we're after. Um, we're going to stay simple for the moment. I'm going to just um, be using the MIA Material X and we're going to go into the physical sun and sky mode and try out these um, these materials in there. They're great for recreating stuff like glass and chrome and bronze and you know all sorts of kind of shiny metal surfaces and they're sort of like the jack of all trades. And MIA, you might ask yourself, what does that mean? Well, um, MIA essentially means a material um, image architectural, or I mean a mental image architectural. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I don't understand, but it's called the uh, mental image architectural, MIA. And, you know, essentially it's just saying that these are sets of materials that you would normally use with a physical sun and sky simulation. So like glass and metals and things like that, that um, are either see-through or um, shiny. So here we go. Let's take a look at where I started. Um, I basically just created a simple plane and a torus and that's all you need to do for one of these projects so just create a simple plane and then create a torus and kind of stick it up there somewhere just doesn't really matter so there you go all right now uh, let's get into the physical sun and sky aspect I'm gonna basically just go over here and I'm gonna just create a new scene and I'm gonna hit don't save on there and I'm gonna come over here let's just create a quick plane I'll just go with a NURBS plane right there. We'll kind of just make a big NURBS plane. Great. And uh, let's create our sphere while we're here too. So we'll go up to create. I'll just do a polygon sphere and I'll just sort of make it about that big. Let's turn on the shaded and there we go. So um, I think I might um, put mine in the center just, just for uh, kicks and grins and uh, there we go so I'll, I'll move it up a little bit too so we can you know sort of get a shadow going down there and uh, let's go into the physical sun and sky mode okay so the first thing you want to do when you do your physical sun and sky is bring up your render settings and let's make sure that we're in mental ray so come down and set your render settings for mental ray and uh, right off the bat, let's just go to quality. 
and make sure that your quality is set to um, let's just make sure it's set to production all right and there we go so now that we have that let's go to indirect lighting and let's go to that physical sun and sky node and just create ourselves a, a physical sun and sky all right there we go I'm gonna move the render settings out of the way let's take a little bit more normal view of what this might look like there we go and let's just do a quick render all right so off the bat that's what our physical sun and sky looks like um, it, it's okay at the moment so let's just leave it like that at, at default and um, let's move it out of the way and let's come over and grab the hyper shade and uh, I'm gonna just clear my graph real quick and we're gonna work from scratch here what we're interested in is we're interested in this MIA material X so I'm gonna click it once and I think I'll just click it again and what that'll do is it gives me a material one and then this one down here make sure you have your choose is material two okay so I have basically the same thing but I just have two separate choices right here so with that in mind now that we've created those let's just move the hyper shade out of the way and let's come to say this sphere and we'll go ahead and right mouse click on it and let's assign it that existing material that is called the MIA material one and then let's assign a material number two to the plane so I'll just go to the plane right click come down to assign existing material and we'll go to material two all right now let's bring up the render view and take a quick render okay now you'll notice that there's some shiny stuff on this and we don't really see the shiny stuff on here but it's there okay so essentially we have a, a shiny material assigned by default to both of these objects the plane and the sphere so let's change this up a little bit this is the cool thing about um, the MIA material X is if we click on the sphere um, that'll basically bring us up our tabs for the sphere and you'll notice that your one of the tabs says MIA material X1 that's assigned to the sphere that's real cool so let's look at this real quick um, in, in terms of this material one this first one we can click on a preset right here and once you do that if you right uh, left mouse click on the preset you could come down and let's just assign it to a chrome so I'm gonna go ahead and, and let up on the replace that now has chrome now I'm gonna take the plane and you'll notice that now I have the material X2 in the tab section for the plane because that's what I assigned it so I'm gonna go ahead and take this material 2 and let's change this material to uh, to a preset and let's go to copper and go replace okay now let's take a quick render see what that looks like alright so you see where I'm starting to get some chrome up here and I also have a uh, like a bronze attached down here or a copper excuse me so that's copper but let's take a closer look at this I'm gonna move that out of the way and I'm gonna just sort of come up here back off a little bit and let's do another render and see this thing as a whole and you'll notice that there's sort of a, a weird uh, highlight down here that's a little dirty well watch this let's bring our um, our sphere down a little bit and just sort of get the right reflections here I'm gonna kind of scale it down a little bit and um, let's come in here a little and we'll do another render okay so you'll notice that this um, is is a, a chrome ball and it's reflecting everything in in the general area it's reflecting the Sun it's reflecting the sky through the blues here it's reflecting a little bit on the the background it's just like if you put a chrome ball um, in front of you it would reflect it uh, you know 180 degrees around or whatever you could see so this surface down here uh, is our um, bronze surface 
So here's our material. And when we look at it um, and click on there, you'll notice that this material is now set up. Uh, here are some various parameters we can play around with. Well, as far as the glossiness goes, this is a, um, a copper surface. But what we want to do is maybe increase the glossiness to get rid of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, let's increase that glossiness all the way up. And let's take a look. As you'll notice, when you increase your glossiness, that's the overall glossiness of the surface. So if this were a nice polished piece of copper, uh, that might be what you get. Um, in this case, I'm going to bring the glossiness down a little bit. Let's bring it down to the middle there and do another render. And as you can see, it basically starts to get a little less defined um, in there. So that's how that works. Pretty easy. Um, let's bring it down a little more. And there you go. Okay, so now let's play around with this chrome ball for a second with some more presets. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the ball. And we're going to know that the, uh, the material one is assigned there. And let's play around with the presets. Let's switch it up to say maybe uh, let's do a solid glass, a glass solid. So I'll go to replace and do a quick render. And you'll see that it sort of looks like solid glass. It's reflecting things and that's sort of the solid glass that it is. So. Maybe we don't want solid glass. Maybe we want something that's a little different. You can click on your presets again. You could go down to say maybe a glazed ceramic and say, okay, let's replace. Well, a quick render will show you that you have basically, you know, kind of like a glazed surface. Now, most of these materials in the physical sun sky and the, the MIA uh, material X are meant to be used in this physical sun and sky system and so you know you, you kind of have to keep that in mind as you're working with this uh, MIA material because when you take and assign these materials to objects that are not necessarily using the physical sun and sky then there's a lot more parameters that need to be looked at and adjusted uh, to make them look right so that's kind of where we're at there. So you get the idea. Go ahead and just keep playing around with these uh, materials on here and maybe set them to some different presets. You might want to see what like a, oh, a matte plastic looks like. So go ahead and set that for a matte plastic. Do a quick render and you'll see that's what matte plastic gives you. Um, you know, you could, you could just play around with everything there. And remember, that your glossiness is is really helpful in, in affecting various uh, you know various aspects of your reflectivity. Um, let's see here, glossies all the way up. Uh, reflectivity. Yeah, so go ahead and play around with those. That's how you work them. Um, they're a fairly simple shader. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with them. Um, they're great for creating um, reflective gold surfaces, silver surfaces, or whatever. Um, now, this is the physical mental, um, the physical sun and sky system that I'm using. And in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll we'll basically use these materials that don't exist within the physical sun and sky uh, engine, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so. Remember, play around with some of those. You have some various things to play around with here. Um, it's probably best to look at your render settings and to make sure that, um, you know, if you want to put global illumination on, it's okay. Um, you want to make sure final gathering is enabled. Um, and, th and those will happen by default for the most part. Um, and then you can fine tune things, um, you know, through Mental Ray later. But really, it's just a, to get a starting point of where your materials are at. So there you go. Okay, I hope this hasn't been too confusing. And as always, thanks again for watching and read a book and learn something every day. <laughs> and thanks to all my new subscribers. I hope you're uh, going to have a great new year. All right. Thanks and over and out.